Mm -hmm. Live chat. Switch this to the scene. That'll do. Where did this boss go? And for those people who end up watching this after the fact, yes, this is Rust. I'm just trying to kill this boss before I get into Atlas. Oh, there he is. Where'd he go? I'm not gonna hear you. Oh, there you are. And health to let he go. Oh, I don't NPC. Atlas. I need to kill this thing. Hmm. Oh, those things. Done. Where's the boss there? Hey Buick, hey, I'm doing good. Trying to finish off this Rust NPC boss before I jump into Atlas. I wasn't expecting it to take too long, but they've um, updated the mod plugin or whatever it's called, and it's a lot harder than what it was before. Uh oh, respawn. Bought some extra healing, that's good. And where is it? There. I've been playing and learning Craftopia. Oh, okay, I have seen that one come up in the list a few times and I've been very tempted to uh, grab that one. I do like the crafting style games. Where's that coming from? Oh gosh, you're all the way over there now. Really? How does that actually go? Is it good?
<sighs> Come on, boss guy, get closer. Oh, you're all the way over there now. Uh, I would suggest you do. My hose over the last two days has become... Oh, house, right. Has become a factory with production lines. Fair enough. She's further away. The NPC AI has changed as well. I build breeding pens, set up automated production lines. Magic. Okay. Other survivor builders can never get into rust. Yeah. I don't mind it. Um, I'm still learning a lot of the monument gunplay and all that sort of stuff. There's a lot of good PvE servers out there basically where you can practice just mucking around with the game rather than being competitive with it. With this NPC is being a pain. It was so much closer before, and now it's really slowed down because it won't come over you. <laughs> but I've got an 8,000 health down to where it is now, so uh, I just want to keep at it until it's done. And hopefully, in that time, some of the other guys will come online over in the UK and might be able to get more than one of us in on the uh, power stone action. Might have to relocate to the other tower. Uh, you would like to try PvE Rust. I've always found it random people just killed you on site. Yeah, well that's pretty much is what happens on the PvP servers. Yeah, I've been um, playing on a, well, been practicing on this and I have been on, I am on some PvP servers now, but they're heavily modded. Um, it just makes the game go a bit quicker. So you can focus on different things. the 
one there. What on earth was that? Oh no, did they despawn? Oh, my boss is still there. That's good. Go a lot quicker if he came closer so I can actually hit it with my bloody uh, big machine gun. He's being as tentative as I am. I suppose I could go over to the other building there. It's a bit of a risk. Of course, the uh, giant tank just happens to be rolling by at the same time. That's a different boss. That's got 8,000 health. That's not what I wanted to see. I might be uh, giving up on this sooner rather than later. Where did my other boss go? Ah! Close. No, it's gone. That's really frustrating. Ah, there you are. And you. Done. Now I've got to somehow get down without being attacked. All of this just to get the uh, the boss's outfit. Oh, I cancelled that bloody too quick. Reload again. All that in there. 
Take that, 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 that. Don't care about much of anything else. Yeah, we'll take that. Alright. Home main. Whew. Battle is done. Yeah, I got shiny golden pants. There's a an NPC up there that has the shiny golden pants. But I'm actually going for this guy here with the police outfit. But you gotta kill the eight thousand health boss to get it. Alright. And so we go back, pack again. Police jacket, police pants. Police boots, they're actually kind of the same, so it doesn't really matter. Police hoodie. I think that's about it. I thought there was a... Oh, it's just a normal road kill. Oh, there we go. Hey. There we go. Get it up. Now we can get on to what I was really planning on doing. Uh, white swords on. The others aren't yet. Uh, well, the the different skins have no different for protection wise, um, but the the different various different armors um, so have different properties. So you obviously have just normal cloth, basic cloth items. There's leather items. There's um, the more higher end gear, which they call the metal stuff. With like there's the metal faceplate and things like that. Each individual item there has a different. You know, might be better against projectiles versus melee some have better radiation resistance so there's a whole different thing going on with the various items but um yeah when you change the look of them it doesn't change the protection hmm black screen it's always a good thing to load into oh here we go nice okay we're in Trade off all in. Done. Go and check the food on the main base. Oh, we've got to wait for it all to load in a bit more yet. One of the annoying things about Atlas at the moment is you the time it takes the map to load in. Wolf down there. There's my resources going. There's fiber, there's wood, there's thatch, there's metal, 5,000 gold, that's pretty good. No food, of course not. So any ideas if Xbox One players are still getting kicked at Power Stone Islands? Uh, I haven't heard anything, well, I've read lots of mixed feedback, I guess, um, about Xbox players. And it doesn't seem like everybody's having quite the same, um, uh, what's the word for it? Not everyone's um, game is behaving the same way, basically. Oh, I've just got dark. Why oh, it's so cold. You know, Redbeard's been a little bit, um, posting a little bit on the uh, forums again, which has been good to see, but uh, it's still very quiet from the devs at the moment. Hey. What is Xbox One? That's the, um, Xbox One is the, uh, the first one, isn't it? Yeah, um, 
Power Stone Islands I was told was fixed before the oh, before the patch came out, but I haven't heard anyone specifically say whether it's fixed or not. As far as the free ports go, I know somebody was complaining about that still, so I'm pretty sure the uh, free ports are still an issue. Actually, interestingly, someone on my Discord was saying that um, they were uh, making their own private server and they'd noticed that if they changed, because um, in their editor you can change the island type from unset to freeport to golden age ruin. I think it might muck with some of the, the background settings for maybe like the creature levels and things like that. But um, if he moved it from unset to anything else, he went from 30 frames to 8 frames. And so it's quite obvious that there's something going on in the background of those uh, settings that um, causes all the hassles. Alright. Oh, you still got some food in there. Nice. Feed the creatures before I get started. Some veggies that all last nicely in the crew silo. That's a lot of fish meat. That's a lot of normal meat. That's nice. Hey, uh, you stop paying for your server because of all the problems it has at the moment. I don't feel like there's too much for OG Xboxes to load. Yeah, quite possibly. Uh, well, obviously it is. So it's. Uh, yeah, still got lots there, nice. Grab all that meat out. Put a new lot in to dehydrate. Only berries, not on me, okay. Oh, food's out. I'll just chuck it all in there. Boom. Take all that back out there. Chomp it away. Stick with Craftopia, so you know Atlas is good. I think a, a lot of people are basically along those way. Um, as it is, you know, at least with the official Atlas, I'm sticking around until I get this Kraken fight done. But after that, yeah, I'll be on the modded servers, which by all accounts is um, doing a lot better. But obviously on the uh, modded servers, it doesn't help the Xbox people, because um, you can't play on modded servers. It's one of the things I'd love them to sort out. I mean, even Ark didn't actually have it. I was having this conversation with somebody on the official Discord too. It's, um, yeah, it's not really cross-play if the Xboxes can't have the modded versions. But I guess there's obviously a lot of limitations there. Berries. All the berries. Put them in this one. Oh, it's actually still full. Nice. We'll put all the berries in there. Take those potatoes back out. The crew obviously finished everything in here. That's settled down. Nice. Put some more of them in. I should, should pop into there. Get myself on the Discord, <coughs> just in case somebody else joins. 
Uh, yeah, I can't fight any bosses, so it became repetitive and boring. Uh, I think more can be done for mods if Bethesda can do it for Fallout. Surely other companies can. Uh, did Bethesda manage to get um, Xbox mods, did they? As in, like... Was Fallout a multiplayer game? Obviously you can have mods, but um, I think it's more the... Yeah, you have to have the mod coded for both Xbox and Steam. I would expect, or something along those lines. But, I certainly don't see why they couldn't make it work. Big companies, they should be uh, able to sort themselves out. Uh, world map. It was Antarctica. Travel to bed. Uh, no single player with one with mods. I guess it's different kind of modding. Yeah. be doing the power stone got to sail first grab some basic stuff the rest I can grab later Ooh, characters still freezing cold that wrong button it is minus 15 in the polar region of course it is uh, and I need berries. Yeah, it'll be daylight soon. All right. Well, let's get our sextant to buff. Go and find the cave, find the hydra. I'm hoping somebody will join me because if I have a second person, we can get two stones in one go and make this a bit of a quicker trip. And the stars are working out nice for me tonight. That'll do. Such annoying noises, the uh, penguins. Uh, it's official PvE. I haven't uh, been game to try the official PvP. Mainly because I've never really been interested in um, losing all my stuff. Uh, we want east. Oh, I'm already facing that way, am I? Yeah, nice. That's, I guess it's a little bit more than just losing all your stuff too on PvP. It's um, being able to dedicate the time because you know you've got to find somewhere for yourself to set up your base, as well as after you've built it all up. Um, that takes a lot, quite a long time to get everything set up, get your ships, get enough gold so that you can now buy your shipyards. You know, given I only play for two or three hours at a sitting, maybe once or twice a week, you set up your base, then you log off. And hopefully your stuff's there when you come back. And so the time it takes to actually get to the PvP is why I don't do it. If they actually made it so that it was very quick to get a ship and get in and actually into the combat, I think it would be much, much easier for people to enjoy it. Oh yeah, the uh, the burping noises of the um, the turtles. It's always a good one. But yeah, if I ever uh, retire from my work, I potentially would give Atlas PvP a go because I just know that I'm going to need uh, a significant amount of time 
A, to learn it, and B, to get everything built and ready to go so that I can actually do the PvP. Probably actually have to join a, a bigger company as well. Doing it solo is um, not really the way to go. And now he waits. Uh, on a server that's miced. Some of the grids set out for PvE and some for PvP. Works well. Yeah, PvP would need a lot of time and yeah, big company would be needed. Well, that's actually probably the thing with the um, the mixed servers, like uh, Radioactive. They've got, I think, 20 grids that are PvE and then 5 grids are PvP. But um, from all accounts, apparently the the people who actually live in the PvP zone are, um, I guess, what other games would call sweaty. You know, you, you actually have to go in there knowing that you're uh, potentially going to be attacked by people who are far superior and will do anything to kill you. on his phone, he's not on yet, but that'll be very early morning for him. server where if you're PvE you paint your, cell, paint your cells blue so you can travel safely through the PvP squares. Okay. I find the new uh, portals to be a bit rough on the eyes because um, the circular nature of it it moves in a different direction than the water so I can imagine that that would actually make some people motion sick uh, You really need to start streaming more and start getting videos up on your YouTube Yeah, well that's the uh, the thing with being like that, isn't it? Um, I'd love to actually get more, but that involves having uh, more time. That's the biggest uh, constraint.
No knowledge or equipment? Okay. And probably the biggest thing for me was the uh, boom microphone that I'm using because it uh, it really ramped up the quality of sound for um, doing the yeah the, the headset microphones tend to have um, well they're okay sound but uh, a proper microphone goes a long way but I mean this wasn't that expensive it was a hundred and twenty dollars I think Australian you can obviously get away without having a, a webcam it's not a necessary thing but yeah, all the other stuff, I'm basically using free software for my editing and all the rest of it. Madthorn, hello. I guess hello from Australia. I think I remember this cave. I was helping somebody make their own um, private server with power stones and uh, I think this map layout may have been one of the ones that I was testing. I don't remember it being frosty though. Uh, in terms of recording, if you have a NVIDIA graphics card, uh, it has built-in recording, so um, it actually works really, really well. That one's at least uh, very handy if you have a, a NVIDIA graphics card. Uh, as far as the editing software, there's two free ones. Um, there's a, a bit more of a beginner one called Shotcut, that is the one that I use, because I haven't transferred over to DaVinci Resolve yet, which is um, one which has a bit more features, but also free. And DaVinci you can actually pay for and unlock extra features, but you don't need that for doing YouTube videos. Okay, this should in theory be the cave just here. Yeah, Xbox One with a... Th yeah, I, I don't actually know what kind of recording software you could really use for Xbox. I'm sure they, they would exist. But yeah, the, uh, the video one's really, really good. Its only downside is um, when you're recording it only has two sound channels. And so you can isolate your microphone sounds and your um, game sounds, or just computer sounds. And so you can muck with the levels of those separately, whereas I would have liked more. Uh, so if you're using something, so I'm actually streaming through OBS, and OBS has a recording function, and you can actually take every single application input and assign it to a uh, channel, and I think it goes up to eight. I think... Where is the cave? I feel like that should be the cave. Can't tell. So slow with the turning. Heard of OBS? There's two different OBSs. Um, but yeah. I think this one that I have is OBS Studio. According to my thing, the cave should be here somewhere. yourselves up and down to turn faster 
As in, like, open and close them completely. Because, uh... I can't actually do that. My leg prevents me from using the uh, all open, all close. Oh, that's weird. That's an interesting graphical bug. Isn't it? It's also why I probably couldn't see it so well. Yeah, it's um, there's a keybind for opening the sails fully, and there's one for um, open and close fully, rather, which is like spacebar and Z for me. But um, it doesn't work on a server. Like the sails go up and down and do weird things. Whereas uh, if I do it on single player, it works. But not on a server. Anyway, pop that stuff away. Keep a climbing hook. Take a gliding suit. Take a carbine. Take pistols. Where are my climbing hooks? There. Oh, they're a bit damaged. What do they need? Fibre hide metal wood. Fibre hide metal wood. Crazy differences, never got a power stone and I've played the game for years. Yeah. Well, you know, there's a lot of that sort of stuff does go on. I mean, I played 500 hours of the game before I even got onto a server, um, all single player. Might sail around a bit. So, just beyond the cove in the middle, there's pretty much four spawn points for the Hydra. So that should work out pretty good. I guess if we pop on this rock up here, should be able to see it all. Uh, you enjoy map editing more than to playing? Okay. Same with Ark. Enjoy it coding more than playing? Fair enough. Uh, I really did enjoy Ark for quite a long time. I do want to get back into it, but it's more, um, yeah, just like the the process of going through all the bosses was actually quite enjoyable. Well, that being said, the um, didn't really enjoy Aberration that much. Poke your head out.
<laughs> yeah, and I try to really do suffer. That's um. <laughs> I wish there was a way that they um, could get away from Nitrato, but for some reason that there's some kind of an agreement I'm guessing between Nitrato and Microsoft that allows them to, to do the servers. So at least with Atlas, if you want to have an Xbox um, server, you own, your only option is Nitrato, you can't go with anybody else. And they are notoriously bad. I feel like I just saw a Gorgon, so that's going to be fun. I was thinking that maybe there wouldn't be any on this island. Why do you watch? There'll be elementals, which is even worse. Ah, that's you use constantly getting corrupt data. Yeah, well, just recently, with um, a number of the issues that Atlas were having, apparently Ark was having um, the same issues. So it was specifically a Nitrato issue. Alright, now hopefully we can actually see the Hydra from here. As it is, I've still got to go back and get all my grenades. The ruins are over there. So the Hydra could be, high, be behind that rock. Uh, it could be around that rock. Looks like it probably should be in front. So, Oh no, it'd be behind. So basically down that little bit there. So potentially two spawn spots behind that rock. One much further down, probably down that gap there. And then the usual spawn spot, which will be in the city itself. And uh, not a busy server because I use offline protection and people don't like that. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those things. Nobody's willing to online raid you. Wait till you log off. It's something that does irk some people, and that the other time, and other times, people actually enjoy that side of it. Well, I shouldn't say enjoy, but are willing to accept it. Is coming along good. Getting yourself in shot there, do you? Oh. <laughs> good job. Question, maybe we put it away in the attic. It's quite possible that it got put away. Otherwise I would have expected it Ah, grab. Oh, oh wait. Now we're looking. Ah yes, I haven't actually created those uh, channels compact disc. I should have done that. <laughs> yeah well. Sort out Discord so that I can see side by side chats. I 
I'll get around to it eventually. Wrong way again. Go that way, that way. At the moment, nobody else is on, so it looks like I might be just grabbing the one power stone, which is a bit of a shame. Time to actually find the Hydra. If somebody else manages to get on before I kill it, then that means I'll be able to do two. Scarvig, a cat, and one room. Well, the cats are actually hiding because we've got two cats. Two cats, two dogs. Uh, Bevan, hello. Welcome to the stream. Uh, do I know where you can get cursed woods and bone chips on official? Uh, the bone chips you're going to look for on every single large island actually just about every island uh, especially around central waters I know South America and Africa will be fine too uh, if I go to that one so I'm I live up in E6 here but every single island in here will have what's known as a transient node and it looks like a bunch of green fireflies but it moves around the island um, every seven days it will change location so you just have to be lucky to find the transient node and once you found the transient node you can put a grave digger on it and the grave digger will start harvesting bone chips from that transient node uh, the other ones the cursed wood come from altars and they're fixed locations on some islands uh, I know there's supposed to be one on E6 north of us uh, the other one that I went to was in Africa, here at H8. Uh, there's basically a cursed altar there. And those uh, actually create the um, cursed wood. And so you're actually fighting other people for the resource. Hey, Charlie, thank you for coming here. in the attic. <laughs> be a while before he comes out, probably. But yeah, that's where you get cursed wood and chips from. That's quite a pain on official, because, um, yeah, people can build around it. They've created a fast decay, uh, so you only end up having, um, I think, a quarter of the time. So instead of 10 days, you get two days, and all your stuff will decay. But it's necessary. People were actually building over the top of the cursed altars, which meant that nobody could get the uh, resources, and people would then try and extort people to um, be able to use the uh, in-game stuff. Uh, you stay in G1. Not anywhere close to that. Um, actually, I might be able to work it out. I'm trying to remember if it actually got placed on the map that I use. Let's have a look. Now that I'm in a somewhat safe spot. I think those red dots... So this uh, website, which is atlas.antihacks.net, uh, there are little red dots on various islands, and those red dots represent um, a cursed altar. Now, you said you were in G1. G1 being central waters. It is H2. Looks like it has a cursed altar, which is your closest one, or E1 
has a cursed altar over there. But you can go and look that up for yourself. In terms of transient nodes, uh, just about any one of these islands should have a transient node. You're just going to have to look for them and search the island. Hmm, what's that? Terrible sound. Or a shadow of a bird. Where'd it go? It might be that one over there. No worries. It's a very useful site. Um, the fellow Antihex, or at least that's his uh, Discord handle, uh, in game, um, he actually streams, and his stream name is Cockroach. He's a very intelligent guy. He, uh, that website is actually something that he coded himself, which parses the, the game files. And allows it to, so every time they put out a new map, as long as he can get a hold of the map files, it will pass it into that uh, map for him. Oh crap, that's armies of the damned. You okay with it? <sighs> Alright. Maybe I can glide around a little bit. Doesn't help that it's foggy. Rock on it I was not expecting that. <sighs> Not good. It's going to be a repeat of last time. Mm, climbing picks. Now the difficult part is I've got to get my stuff back. I've got to bring it back to the ship where it's safe. And then go back out again. <laughs> uh, oh crap, elemental power crushes us all. Yeah, well that's just it, I gotta... Remove it, that's right. Alternatively, because uh, I did actually move away and it threw a stone at me, I might be a corpse far enough away that it uh, won't get me. Unless I fly in, I'll have to fly in from the other side. But as it was, I mean, I haven't... S oh, fog's still very prevalent. I haven't seen anything that looks like a Hydra yet. Alright, Stamina is back. Should have actually been recording that. It's been uh, a funny little short. Fog can go away. Come on. Alright, stamina is back. That was another rock elemental. <laughs> Ah. 
Nearly didn't attach to the wall in either. Guess it would have been a massive comedy of errors. Oh, hello. I think it went down. Okay. Oh, nope. I wonder if I can lure it off the wall. Hey, I did. Nice. Land. <laughs> uh. Ooh, nice. All right. Now the question is: Is there another one there? So, I mean, I can't even see the rocks. That they actually are. They must be falling into the ground or something like that. Alright, success. Oh, and there's the Hydra. Nice. It's actually a pretty good platform for it. Except if a rock elemental respawns. There is a lot of leather wings. high up for this hydra or not I feel like I am mm, give it a go come on yep, missed both of these yeah it's going to turn around and walk away isn't it Out of the attic. How did that miss? That missed again. Yeah. Athi, hello. The stones are going somewhat okay. I uh, just got killed by a earth elemental or rock elemental. Found the hydra. Now I'm trying to uh, work out the best place to kill it. There are so many leather wings everywhere. I reckon maybe I've got to go over to that rock over there. Seems to possibly even that rock there. Clear the area a little bit of you, and that's a miss. Maybe I'm just too far away and it's not registering. Uh, South Pole, because it's uh, the North Pole Island is a dragon. That one registered. Just about to be night. Uh, that's going to make it very, very cold. 
Hmm. Right, time to find out if there's a rock elemental down here. I feel like I need to uh, set a fire up or something. Uh, North by Island is hell to even walk around. Uh, the area by the cave is usually full of animals. Yeah, this one was, but thankfully it was all bears and horses, of all things. It was um, quite good, actually. Now, why doesn't that hit? It does. Come on over. You watch, it'll actually be able to walk up the hill. <laughs> oh, I've got a gamma up now. Oh, well. Lob. No. Um, all right. Gosh, how are we going to do this? I need it to move down over there. That would actually be better. As long as I don't freeze to death in the night time. Minus four already. Someone's commented over there. Oh, it's just a log of me dying. That's all right. <laughs> There's leather wings, buddy, everywhere. I've got fur on. Um, I've just noticed in some islands, uh, the ones which pretty much have icebergs, so I should be right with this one, but the ones with icebergs drop down to almost minus 20. Don't notice me. Good. Come on, walk all the way around. Come on, that's pretty good. Ow, that actually hit me. Thinking about how it's going to get to me. This might work. Yes, there we go. Uh, lived in G10, sort of, and never had much of an issue with basic fur. Okay. That lightning head. Hitting me,
top head to go down and I can sneak forward a bit. This is it. Six grenades left. That's not enough. Bullets it is. Might actually be worth a trip back to the boat. Pick up the rest of the grenades. Seventy seven simple bullets, thirty five carbine. Just not sure that's going to be enough. You watch your walk up the hill now. <laughs> I need leather wings. Yeah, it's just lucky I had uh, a bullet ready at the time. That could have been the worst thing ever. Get dragged up into the air and dropped on top of the hydra. Well, I hadn't intended to uh, need to use the bullets. It's all going to be about the um, grenades. I actually bought, brought along more than I thought I would need. But apparently I missed way too many shots. Another uh, leather wing coming in. Come on, reload.
Well, actually, it's going to be interesting to see how the uh, industrial weapons actually work. Coming up, they we're going to introduce a new uh, revolver and rifle for the industrial stuff. And that was going to have bleed on it. Yeah, there's one power stone I did uh, compact that um, I didn't run out. I think it was the second power stone I did and it went so bloody smoothly it was brilliant. But yeah, last stream and this stream, it uh, hasn't gone so well. <laughs> Oh, I think it was probably one of the ones I didn't stream. That's probably why you missed it. I um, was doing a lot just in the background because obviously getting all of the power stones done before the next wipe would be useful. Otherwise it's all for nothing. Uh, Mia, hello. Yes, power stoning. I'm uh, two to go. So I'm currently killing this Hydra. I'll probably, well, depends on how the timing goes. But I had hoped that somebody else would be able to get on in time with the company, and that way I could get two artifact keys, go to this power stone, and then sail to the next one, and I would be done. But uh, nobody's on at the moment because they all live in the UK and the US, which is. Very diff. Gosh, that came close. <laughs> They're all very different timing to me. Uh, where am I? I am in South Africa. Not South, I guess, sorry, Antarctica. Power Stone. Long way away. Come on, don't run away. Well, at this stage, I should be pretty close to being done this one, as long as it doesn't walk up the hill and get me. Which seems to be threatening to do. And, seeing as I haven't actually killed it yet, there's always a chance someone might get on in time. We'll see. G4 Central? Yeah. Um, I am in K11, probably the furthest away from everything you can possibly get. <laughs> But that's all right. I mean, if it comes to it, oh, oh gosh, that actually hit me with a fire. That's not good. If it comes to it, I will do the last power stone off stream. No worries, Beric. Thanks for dropping in once again. I'm sure I'll catch you next week. Oh, the hell, the wildfire again. I'm gonna get myself killed here. Given I don't have any kind of med stuff with me. And 
that missed. Looks like it's a bit of an odd angle. That's right. Reload because I need to heal. The Hydra probably does regenerate over time, but um, I'm keeping it in combat lock fairly well. Plus the fact that I, I imagine it won't regenerate its heads after they've been killed. That's me dead. No? <laughs> I was wondering if it could get up the hill. Ah. Don't even have any food on me. I can't even eat something to regenerate some health. Need to wait a little bit for some uh, health back now. That's oh, the iron making that beeping noise. It's not too bad in terms of the speed of regeneration. Could be better. Alright, that helps a lot. That heads down. to go. Alright. <laughs> There's lots of things that I should have brought. About ten more grenades would have actually done it too. Now all I need is someone from the company to just randomly drop on. That will change the whole dynamic of this evening. Let's just double check. Nobody's actually on. Sorry, can't join. They were oh, okay. Someone's finally responded. They're working. So that's no good. And the other guy, uh, Falcon, I think, from memory, about now is his six o'clock in the morning, which is why he probably won't be able to turn up. Whiffed that. That's annoying.
Let's start that up again. Ooh, what's going on there? Something's graphically gone wrong. We'll have to wait till uh, it finishes the animation and maybe it'll fix it. There we go. Don't you walk up the hill. I certainly have enough bullets to do it, even if it is the slow way. <laughs> It'll go down. You watch, I'll get it, and uh, then non-stop death to like a s elemental or something on the way back. I actually had that problem with one that I did offline. Um, the cave entrance. Uh, oh, that's not good. Oh no, the other ones have still got a fair amount of durability on them. But yes, the uh, cave entrance, the armies of the damned spawned right in the entrance. And while they're going into and out of the ground, it um, it blocks you from moving. So to actually get into the cave solo was nigh on impossible. I'd managed to run in and then my uh, wingsuit failed on me as I glided across the middle. And so I died down to a cobra in the water in the middle of the cave. Uh, and then, yeah, it was just I would just run in refresh my bag timer so that uh, someone then eventually got on and helped me out managed to kite some of the creatures around and eventually I got my stone back it was um, crazy time that one Uh, come back. Oh, it's funny you, how you're more likely to die of regular monsters than the Hydra. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's very much a thing, isn't it? Uh, I can't see the head anymore. I guess that's it there. Oh, yeah, they hit it. Nice. Oh my goodness. What are you attacking? Why is there an elemental? Well, that's a little bit freaky. It doesn't seem like it's aggressive to me, but why? What is it doing? Um, reckon that's the head there. Yep, that's the head there. Nice. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Reload, because there's a leather wing there I'm not too happy about. 
Don't seem to be any others. This fog, of course, comes in at the worst possible time. Come on, zoom in. Alright. Should be a straight east. It should be that way. I'm not sure it's even worth going to get the Mythos at this stage. I'm not actually spending it. Fair enough. I mean, if it comes to it and there's a, the opportunity to kill the Hydra again after I've done the stone, then uh, it's not that going to be the, that long a sail over to the Arctic. Oh no. Go away. Because, yeah, the Arctic is... Um, it's a few grids, but there's a, a portal from the uh, Uncharted, I think it is. So you can go from Antarctic to the Uncharted, then one grid away is the portal to the Polar Region. But, um, yeah, there's a few grids to travel. But it should take, I guess, an hour. And that rock elemental did spy me. And yeah, it went away to nothing. I wish the rock elementals actually had a rock that they turned into. As this leather wing here doesn't see me. That sounds like another rock elemental. That leather wing heard me. Of course it did. That should be fairly smooth running from here. I actually did that with all my extra gear on me too. Probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. What did I want to do? That's right. Wait, okay, how much is this going to cost me to repair? Flint hide metal oil. That's not too bad. Sounded like a leather wing. Close. Shoo. Yeah, Rex is on. can't wait for the update to these ships. I know it's going to be a month or two yet before it actually happens, mind you. I would expect that the next wipe, which I guess they're slating now, or people are guessing June is the next update. And that should hopefully be a, an overhaul of the modular ships.
You have a bit of lag? Got a kiss? How are you? Well, Red did say in the uh, official Discord that he hates how they look like Lego blocks. He said he was somewhat happy with the Kraken look, but um, yeah. He also agreed that they will be uh, making some ships wider and narrower than others. So there's going to be a lot of stuff, but you know, we have to wait for them to deliver it. Okay. Drop all that off, drop that off. I'm gonna keep that. Don't think I need climbing picks. I need the stone, I need the glider suit. Probably should drop that off too. I'll freeze, but that's fine. I'm planning on dying anyway. Although my character's uh, doing pretty good. And of course, it failed me. <laughs> That's alright. As I was saying before, it's like, yeah, it's all cows and bears and horses at the front of the cave. It's, um. It's even chickens. It's a very tame uh, cave entrance. You just started on the dark side, RP? Yeah, fair enough. It was um, someone was posting the stats, and uh, official is back up to the I guess 200 plus. No worries, come back this. Thanks for uh, dropping by. But yeah, I think we're back up to around 200 a day on the Steam charts. But um, Dark Side RP had 900 on at the time. So yeah, doing very very well with their numbers. Why did they close? Yeah, I've got the uh, the stone stuff worked out. As long as I don't get trapped by the armies of the damned in there. Alright. Close back on. Uh, you'd love to read the lore of the Power Stone books. Uh, why don't they put them in your inventory to read later? They do, I thought. Uh, there. So you should be able to go to the discoveries and you can reopen them up. Grab two of them. do I need? I don't need a spare glider. I've got two climbing picks. I need to repair the weaponry. That's what I need to do. Flint hide metal oil wood. Flint hide metal wood. What's the other thing? Oil. Oh, I probably won't be going on to the essences from here because uh, the the people I'm playing with are um, over on other servers at the moment. And I just wanted to get a Hydra kill for the channel. That's not much alloy. That's not good. Hopefully it's enough. No, it's not. Oh, 
that's bad. Aim. And what's it cost to create us? Another carbon. That's oh, 65. It's bloody heaps. Hmm. I could build a forge on here. Fiber and stone. Fiber. A bit of stone. A bit more stone. A bit more stone. Come on, let me build you. Can't place obstructed. Of course it is. I doubt I can build it on the lower floor. No. Uh, if you leave one essence unclaimed, you won't spawn the V2. Oh, that's right, you were talking about that before. Okay, I can place it above deck. Interfere with everything, but I want it. Uh, iron is coal, iron wood. I can do that. Might actually have to go on half just a bit. Iron, coal resource. This rate just getting set up so I've got enough stuff for uh, this will probably mean that the Hydra will definitely be respawned, which is good. Right, while that's going, we'll go and farm up some more metal. Uh, actually, I don't know if I have enough grenades to do it a second time. That's right, if me is on the way. Come on, give me the right weapon. Silver. Okay. Oh, what does silver need for... Um... Ooh, I can't remember what silver needs. Silver ingots. Should be able to get away with it. Just need to restock some metal for the ship itself. Okay, should do. Actually, I might take one of those flints. You're in H5 and you'll transfer to H10. Okay. Where's the uh, portal? There isn't one. Oh, that's right. You can go south now into the transfer thing, right? Forgot about that. It's weird having that border trouble. It actually locked me out of the game. Oh, you guys were actually on the stream, so you would know about that. <laughs> right. Let's 
going good. And metal's going in there. Keep the ship repaired. Alloy goes in there. So now I can repair the carbine. A little bit of it. Oh, I don't need to repair that stuff. Take that. Uh, those go away. Keep one. Do I have any more simple shots? Of course not. Keep that. Do I have any gunpowder left? No. Check this is finished. Yes. That's why I needed to grab that flint earlier because um, it'll come in handy for making gunpowder. Have I got any? Doesn't look like it. Flint. I think I have any more bullets. Just got. Yeah. Nice. Fifty more bullets. That'll go a long way. What time is it? Ten twenty. Okay. Should be able to do this. What's that? Uh, ten. 20, yeah, 10, 14, okay, should be enough, 42 grenades, as long as I don't miss too many, I think it's 25 grenades will actually kill it, if they hit properly. We'll uh, go and see if the Hydra is somewhere while we wait for Mia to sail all the way over. Maybe I can die to another uh, elemental.
just in time for the fog and a gorgon right there Ooh, actually Oh, forgot to uh, put those things back in. That was a mistake. And of course, the Gorgon's now under the ship. <laughs> Well, I guess it can't hurt anything while it's under there. Weird actually just looking at that. So you got a spider, giant spider, right next to a horse. Seems a little preposterous. Oh, even then, right next to the chickens. And the creature AI should have the spiders kill the chickens. See its bar anymore. Right, there it is. Ooh. Gorgon. Hmm. Actually, did that knock all my crew off? That's the question. Have a look. You're fine. You're fine. Of course, the fog is here again. All right, well, try and kill this Gorgon. Wait for the fog to clear, which looks like it might be starting to. We'll go and find where the Hydra is living while we wait for Mia to transfer over. Be able to do the next artifact key and then do the, uh, the long sail. So I should be able to. Uh, you've got the... Oh, got me again. Antarctica to Uncharted. So it's only two grids over to Uncharted. Once you're in Uncharted, it's one grid down to the North Pole portal. And then from North Pole, you're going to A10, which is one, two, three, four grids. And it looks like the wind is going the wrong way there. But I should be able to get down to here and get the trade wind for a little bit. And there it goes. But yeah, you get two hours on the stone, so it uh, should go fairly smoothly. That's not good. 
Gonna get up so I can kill that before it gets me. That one terribly. Find out whether there's another elemental over there. As long as I'm not going to get hit by a uh, leather wing. Make or break. There's an elemental at the top. I need to regain stem. There are armies of the damned. Come on, stem. Go, 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 go. Oh. Ow. wasn't meant to happen. Ah, oh, all right. Back to a semi-safe spot. If only my latency wasn't bad and I could actually climb while using the uh, gliding suit. Oh. Alpha? Shield horn? I don't have my uh, spyglass with me. Be interesting to see what level that is. I have to be getting close to a thousand. Yeah, the archer shot me and basically popped the uh, parachute out of the way. Or the gliding suit, rather. It's a pain. <laughs> Backup has arrived. Ah, Rex, welcome. Uh, it is... well, you should... oh, no. No, 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 no. Uh, K11, uh, the SSBF Zuma should be parked there. You'll be able to 
fast travel over and uh, in one of the boxes there is some fur. Stamina back. There should be a spare glider suit, spare set of fur. Not much in the way of weapons, though. Mind you, I've actually got a fair bit on me at the moment, so it would just be a matter of uh, bringing some uh, ammunition. But there should be also climbing picks. Oh no. Around we go. Whew. They shouldn't be able to get to me. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Hi. See you later. <laughs> At this stage. The uh, Hydra is not back in this location. See the tail. Oh, more soldiers. Um, what's my options here? Oh, we're going this way. Hopefully, there's a ledge. Oh, looks like there is. Okay, that looks like a bear, so we're fine with that one. Uh, are you watching the stream, Rex? Because you'll be able to see my location. Uh, so I can actually see the, the zoomer from where I'm at. So yeah, so uh, slightly southeast of the Zuma, across the bay, and basically on a, a cliff edge over there. So that's roughly where you're heading. That leather wing looks like it's static. That looks like it's static. Oh, there we go. The creature's just caught up. Well, that was a lag spike. Alright, so Mia should be around the H10 area, I assume, by now. Spike. Not getting the bars for loading. Something is definitely going wrong with the grid. Oh, there he goes. Ooh. 
That was a close one. Get rid of that. Change my stream title to Scarvy Kills Leatherwings. See the zoomer anymore. Hmm. Still there. This actually looks like it'll be a really nice height for the Hydra too. So as long as when I walk over towards that bear, armies of the dam don't spawn, it'll be fine. Uh, Mia, are you uh, still there? How close are you at the moment? That's a lot of lag. <laughs> Of those out for you, and that, and that. A gun, some grenades. We're just waiting to see if uh, Mia makes it. She's sailing over here just for the event, so still waiting for them to respond on the stream. gone over its head. Probably shouldn't waste too many bullets. Uh, I've got a hundred carbine bullets, it's fine. Where that alpha went actually. I think it's behind that rock down there. And if it paths in front, I have to see. See what level it actually was. Chase people signed in. Are you still in the uh, stream, Athy, as well? Yes, or there. Do you know um, if you're in game? Do you know where me is up to? It's not responding on the uh, chat at the moment. Okay, right, there's someone that's actually specifically sailing over to uh, be part of it. That was a lovely sound. <laughs> Uh. 
I'm surprised that the shot didn't actually kill it. Yeah, yeah the, the last I knew they would have been up to about H10, which means that they're still three grids off. Although, if the timing's right, they might be two grids away still. But, you know, could be, um, they've crashed in terms of the, uh, the network if they're not able to respond at the moment. So we'll have to wait and see what's happened. to kill them in one hit. That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Global isn't. Oh, I suppose global would be yeah, and local is um, your grid. Never bothered to use the different styles of chats. Where's my cursor on there? Ah, there we go. Give it a little bit longer. If it's uh, nothing, then we'll start. Oh, wow. Uh, in the transfer grid. Oh, okay. That is a while off still. All right. All right, Rex. Let's do this. Grenades. See if that'll hit. Nice. This looks like it's gonna go nice and smooth. This is more the textbook version of the uh, grenade kill. <laughs> Ridiculously fast. Hmm. Where did that last one go down? Alright, artifact key obtained. If you want to get the mythos, it's up to you, but I'm not interested in grabbing it for now. Discovery when you fly over the uh, pond. Mermaid tide pool. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, that's unlucky. get myself onto this ship and I'll change my chat so I can see what you're saying. Ooh. That didn't work. It spawned right under the Hydra. Yeah. That was basically my uh, experience when I first went over. So you can't climb up them? Okay. Oh, 
Come on. Well, I'm not sure if you're interested in getting because it's um. Well, all you had on you was some bullets, a flintlock. Uh, I've got an artifact. I don't need any more, and the fur. So no, there's nothing critical. It's all common stuff. You can make everything all over again if needed. All right, swap over stuff. Uh, but yeah, I. I can make you some fur if I've got enough stuff, but I don't think there's any spare armor at the moment. Uh, we'll need some hide. Oh, hang on. I need. We do have a tannery here. Nice. That's hide. Fur needs keratin and organic paste. Oh gosh, have I got any of that? Got some organic paste. Got heaps of keratin. Nice. Uh, chest piece and a run out of paste. Paste requires fiber sap. Uh, no saps. Oh, what other pieces are in there? What's the cheapest ones to make? Uh, feet. Done. Oh, there's a chest piece and feet piece. Can always swap out one of mine probably too. But it's sailing time now anyway. Pop that away. Sextant. You know, I do want that. Pop that away. <laughs> um, sextant and that is probably all I need. Is it far to the next cave? Uh, it's all up, probably uh, six to eight grids. I was estimating that um, between killing the Hydra and sailing it would probably take an hour overall. Look, we want to go... Yeah, that's actually quite the right heading. Hopefully we don't run into any ships that are damned. Yeah, wind is really nice. It is. So we're going to Uncharted. So two grids. Uncharted is another grid. Three grids. North Pole. Uh, five, six, seven, yeah, eight grids. It's about eight. Mainly because um, if I don't know, did they fix the border travel? I think they turned border travel off, didn't they? What happens if I travel the border in the North Pole? Will I get booted again, or will it actually wrap around? That's the question. Uh oh, no! It didn't fire. Oh, how lucky was that? <laughs> No. Ah, yes, it's a broadsider. That's right. I almost got 300 resist on it, so it's actually doing pretty good. It would survive a volley from some of the ships that are damned. 
I'm not sure about a, a high level galleon. Uh, I think you can go south to come out north easily since there's no transfer grid there. Right. That's actually east west that I want to do for the traveling the borders. There's, um, yeah, this is the one here. So if I come out from the North Pole into Uncharted, if I was to go east and wrap around A11, it will cut a huge amount of my trip off. But I'm, uh, whoa, hello. <laughs> They're low level ones though. It's good. It's just fog to go away. Um, it might be good if somebody could test it before I actually do it. I'd rather not get booted off the game again like last time. Uh, you think it's only the south side of North Pole that will transfer grid you? Okay. Yeah. I'd be safe if I can just do the uh, the regular route. Uh, log, okay, that's fine. Don't care about that. Music stops. So we'll start again. Uh, the only thing that booted you was fixed. Those grids were offline, hence you got stuck. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't sure if it was something like that or um, there was a, some of the servers were different versions which I heard was causing people to get stuck as well. The, um, the crew falling off the ships is still very much a thing too, I've noticed. And I thought that was actually um, doing pretty good for a while there. But with all the travelling I've been doing recently, uh, I've been losing a couple of crew every time I go through a grid. It's been crazy. This thing had a lot more crew on it to begin with. Luckily I don't need them, so... <laughs> uh, where am I? About to run into an island. I don't know if any of you have actually had the invisible island bug. That's always a fun one that I keep coming across. Every now and then I'll go through a grid change and then the island that I first come across is just not there. Uh, I've actually run straight into an invisible island before and crunched my shit a bit. It was uh, crazy. Ship the ship. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, the animals got fixed a little bit, but it still happens quite a lot. Uh, company log, but yeah, most of uh, I can't actually see where it is. There's a few mutinies in there. They're all ones that uh, fell off. Lots of settlers. Anyway. Yeah, we were talking about what was cold and what isn't cold. Um, so one of these ones, so this portal from, is it African portal? No, it's a South American one. So this island here, next to the South American portal, if you park near this particular uh, Antarctic island, it's got lots of icebergs, and it gets down to minus 20 overnight. Um, yeah. 
Whereas obviously the one we were on just now, that Power Stone Island, it didn't get that cold. Lag. Oh, it's someone's building's rendering on their ship. <laughs> Um, Kit, I don't suppose you remember what colour you chose for the sails? It's a nice dark mahogany red really, isn't it? Floating ship. Not quite as good as some of the ones that I've seen. It's all just waiting. Is that Sophie's shirt you're making? It's one of those things, I guess, with the uh, sailing. But obviously it's a long trip, you can point yourself in the right direction and then go AFK a little bit, but uh, then the ship of the dam turns up and all of a sudden it's uh, game over. Wave. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I certainly agree, Rex. One of those things when you deliberately go out, you know, go to the Power Stone Island, deliberately looking for high-level galleons, and they don't show up. Uh, no, this is the last one. That island we were just on was the uh, the second last one, and prior to you jumping on, I actually managed to get it done. And so that last kill that we did, as long as we can get to the Power Stone Island on time, then it's done. We will be on to the Kraken. Hey, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Currently on the long uh, travel to the last Power Stone Island. Never heard the music before? Uh, the one that's playing right now? Uh, Asher Fulero. It's from the YouTube Audio Library. 
Uh, Night Snow, I think the song is called itself, but the artist is Asher Falero. Let's see if we can find it. Oh yeah, something very good. Uh, the day is going very good. The fact that we're on to the last power stone. It's been going to be good. Uh, YouTube. Oh, there's a ship there. Look at that. I'm, I'm alt tab looking at uh, YouTube audio library. Gonna ship the damn sails past. Right on time. Uh, the cyclone is the new graphic for the portals. That's actually where we're going. Yeah, it's um, it's it's quite different with how the uh, the graphics are depicted now for the portals. There's big portals, um, so this is a standard size one. Whereas the exit ones for some of the other ones are actually a lot skinnier. But yeah, I guess they're trying to put more of the the fantasy look and feel, which I guess it didn't really need to be, but um, I, it makes it. Uh, it doesn't matter what direction you drive into. Like it, yeah, you don't have two sides anymore. You've got you just drive into it or sail into it rather. I feel like there's something in the middle though, every now and then I hit something. I'm stopping. Alright, reversing. Hopefully there's nothing dangerous in the water. I can see a dolphin. <laughs> Luckily that's not too dangerous. Alright, I can see your uh, name tag. Not quite as bad as uh, Falcon falling off the other day. He... Uh, he had a, quite a long swim. He um, he didn't want to interrupt the stream, so he didn't tell me that he'd fallen off the ship. So we just kept sailing. I didn't realise that he was off the ship. Uh, you do like the new portals, okay? Uh, what direction are we facing? Uh, the wrong way. We want to go south. Switch this thing turned better. Yes, we're going to the North Pole. We're currently in the uncharted waters, and there's a uh, another portal which will get us all the way through. Yeah, like how dark the new portals are. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's like you're actually sailing through fog initially, and yeah, you can just run into stuff. And then you know when you drop uh, creatures and crew off the side, you can't see them in the water is the other part to that. I do like that they are... You know, yeah, they, there's no specific direction to the portal. It's nice from that perspective.
Yeah, quite possibly. Um, I don't think we'll be coming across any broken portals to show that for the people who hadn't seen it so far. Uh, we'll be North Pole is next. Uncharted. Well, then we will actually go past the damaged portal. Yeah. Some air. <laughs> uh, nothing like the rain to do that. This is gets good speed. So we want to tuck straight past this island. Some more air. It's a good one. <laughs> like the, the ship is popping a mono. It's like behaving like a surfboard. Cappy One, welcome. Yeah. Oh, that being said, I, I have had it. Um, today it seems to be more of a uh, float above the water one, but yeah, every now and then I do get one. Uh, it probably happens more to the legacy ships. They tend to be submarines. Well then, then again, look, that one's actually going pretty low now. I probably heard what you said and decided to give it a go. Keeps turning as well. Um, it happens in uh, the well when it's raining. When you're going, basically, I think it's once you get past 21 knots, the uh, the modular ships, specifically the things like the the broadsider, they just turn of their own volition. You know, you should get a choice. So at the moment, it's turning left. It's actually just pulled maybe five or six degrees to the left and I'm not even touching the uh, keyboard. Weird. In the um in the trade winds, I actually f have to lower the sails a little bit just to make it actually stay in the one direction. It works a bit better. Should probably do that now. We're just about to cross the grid, so it shouldn't be an issue. And yet, it's full gone to the side again. Now it's pitching more to the right.
we still got a Rex on the ship. Looks like we do. I lost your masterwork hide set when you ported to Mia to find out what he was going on. As in, you you bed travelled and forgot that you were wearing your hide, and now it's gone. I've done that a few times. Not so much with masterwork stuff, but. Uh, I've certainly done it a few times. Admiral Rex, my chat has broken. It didn't fall off, but I have to relog after this portal. Oh, fair enough. Should probably have Discord chat up as well. Ah, you just went off the ship. <laughs> Come on, get off the. S I can't get off the wheel. Luckily, the sails were going in a bad direction. But yeah, I saw your uh, name tag sink into the water, so I assume you fell off that time. The slow reverse. Okay, right, there you are. Log. We lost a bull in F2. Oh, that's going to be um, all of our IMAX's stuff. This stuff's finally uh, decaying. Alright. So you would have logged off down below, right? Oh, you joined back very quick. Alright, hmm, actually my uh, sextant buff wore off. The sun is up there. I wonder if the sextant's going to work through the clowns. Oh, gosh, that's a pain. Oh, hello. Look at that face. <laughs> uh. Uh, Sega Mega, welcome, albeit that uh, I can't read that. Right, this gamma down. Hmm, ah, there it is. That one's going that way. Just need four. Right, it's taking us east. Where are we? We actually want to go full west. Of course, we're going the wrong way. Once we get a chance to go in the right direction, I might try translating. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I had, um, I think I did one of the, uh, one of the grid editor videos. I had a Russian asking me uh, if I could translate that video into Russian. 
I just paused it through an auto translate, but um, yeah. Uh, we could try going east and cross the border and see if it wraps around. The only problem with that is we don't know that it works. Oops. And if it fails and we're stuck, <laughs> that'd be a real problem. Still got plenty of time on the thing. You won't be stuck? Oh, well, we can give it a go. Man, it's going to save a lot of time. Happens like last time, but hopefully, oh, Athy seems to think we won't be stuck. But uh, that was the the main problem with doing it is uh, if we cross the grid and we get crashed out of the game, then yeah. But if we're not going to be stuck, that's fine. I guess we'll we'll know when we see the uh, edge whether it's a blazing wall or something like that. as everything is loading in. It's quite noticeable. So, really, I probably want to take a slight northern direction. Little ships of the damned are about to get in the way. Schooners are not going to be an issue. It's raining, and we got. Oh, actually, are we proper polar region at the moment? Or is this tundra? So I just saw a wire. It's tundra. Okay. The uh, tundra are... Um, oh, yeah, it is tundra. Yeah, tundra tends to have the not mean whales, such so as the, the giant blue whales, rather than the sperm ones. Thankfully, we didn't get cyclones. But we get to have floating ships again. Come on, wind. Wrap around. Yeah, I gotcha. Hmm? That's right. to get the uh, excessive speed. We'll find out when we start launching again.
But yeah, it's starting to turn of its own choice again now, which is annoying. Main, yeah, welcome. Things are good. Currently working towards the last power stone. Hoping that their grid travel works, travelling east to west in the uh, Arctic. That's going to save me four grids worth of travel. Almost there. Oh, my character's freezing to death then. Yeah, it's definitely pulling a lot more to the right. We're almost going straight east now. Oh no, now it's bouncing back to the left. And how have, uh, how's your streaming been going? I've noticed that you've actually been uh, getting stuck into it a fair bit too. I'm putting up a few videos, streaming a little bit. Well, that's what we're about to find out because it's the the east west is the direction we're traveling um whether or not east west goes into the uh, into that region i don't know uh no i don't well there we go we got a submarine a little bit of one Should be able to see the wall by now. That's because it's completely turned me north. <laughs> uh. Hey, Berwick. Twice in one day. Yeah. We're most of the way there. We're about to just check if the uh, Arctic border allows us to wrap around. That's a lot of ships to the end. We're facing east yet? No. We've got to keep going now. On row, 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 row. Turn. <laughs> and there's the border. All right. Slow down as we grid. Well, it still says Arctic, which is good. A11. Oh, nice. We've still got Rex on the ship. Ah, it worked. There you go. Now everyone else knows to. <laughs> And that saved a lot of time. Nice. Yes, it did wrap to the other side. It did exactly that, which is actually what we were hoping for. Now, I just got messaged the an interesting map. Uh, I'll get this out of the way so that I'll just work out where I'm going and then I'll show it up on the screen. Uh, I need to go almost purely north. That's going to be terrible wind. But it's better than four boots. Come on, turn. That should do for now. Yeah, we're gonna get 16, that's not too bad either. Yes, this is the broadsider. Um, stripped of all of its cannons. Uh, I was doing whaling with it and other things, which is why I've got ballasters on there. But uh, they just travel fast, so it's really good for doing things like power stones. Um, ooh, can I zoom in on that? Oh, I can. Cool. So yeah, this is some of what uh, Athi just linked to me. But yes, it has basically where you're going to end up if you do the gridding. Yeah. Hey, 
that's fine. Just make sure I don't lose anyone overboard as I grid. Although it seems to have only been the portal so far that's done that. White sword, welcome. Everyone's waking up for the day, joining the stream. Oh, we got bloody fog. Uh, still got everybody on the ship, which is good. We've still got a while, so we can go back to that image. Where did it go? Did I close it, did I? Open original. Pop that back on there. So yeah. So the left and the right hand side of the North Pole is fine. I'm, I assume that means that if you go north on the North Pole, it will wrap you around to the southern edge as well. But if you go the southern edge of the North Pole, it will take you into, I guess, the North Sea. Maybe. About to head to bed. Oh, there you go. I'm currently working on the last Power Stone uh, on the official server. I'm going to try and tee up with everyone to find out what's a good time to do the Kraken after that. Even if it means trying to sort out maybe a daytime thing for myself. Just for one or two hours while we uh, get it done. Yes, I saw you uh, link the pictures of the PvP server, the, the base that you'd been building. <laughs> so pulling a late one then. Ten power stone. Press forward with this lovely fog. Um, oh, it's right on the southern tip as well. Nice. So the cave on this one is right there on that edge there. So I won't even have to go around the island. Ship of the Damned. So, um, how's the PvP server actually been treating you, White Sword? Uh, I noticed obviously you built that lovely massive compound. Are you actually playing with anybody on there? Um, joined a company or. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn it. Mermaids, you gotta love them. No sharks, which is good. Come on, let me on. There we go. 
we're building all the time? Fair enough. Uh, Alright, reversing. Oh, how far back were you? I suppose you got stuck with the mermaid. Setting up the auction house and getting all that going, I haven't left the island. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can see the little dot in the distance. Oh, yeah. Didn't quite get the grapple out in time. That's why I always have one on me, though. You dragon behind you. Oh, the mermaid. Not a nice one, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, that's just a thing. I mean, I can't actually remember if I did a proper market video, but the the market interface is so... Uh, it's just not very good. Can you actually put the wheel in the room below? Okay. I'll have to uh, consider doing that myself. I've never uh, considered that you could do that. Makes a lot more sense. But yeah, the the, um, the market is very much not understood, and uh, the interface is not nice. I actually wish they would change the the way the ma the market is done completely. Um, it'd be nice if it was you actually put up a post to say this is what I'm selling and this is what I'm willing to trade for it, and so none of this constant trade. It's lots of individual trades, and people just go in and choose the one that they want to buy. You end up having, I guess it's a bit more of that proper auction house experience because you'll end up having people undercutting each other and trying to sell their resources. Plus I'd like a little bit more of a quest system where, you know, you could actually offer you know, X amount of gold to have a certain amount of goods delivered or uh, sent somewhere. Right. Now, find my stuff. Open this door the other way. Ditch all this stuff. Ditch the clothes. Don't know if there's any more glider suits there. But if you have a glider suit, this gets very easy. Now. So this is the exact same layout as the last one, and can't see anything bad. It's all horses and cows again. Now this one's got that weird graphic bug on it as well, where the cave looks like it's shut. As long as there's no armies of the damned. There we go. Wait for that. Done. It's out of the way. I'm surprised the bats didn't actually uh, become aggressive then. It's a little bit surprising. There we go. Uh, it was the inventory. There it is. The compass is complete. Done. Finally. Next up will be uh, 
Yeah, well, that is the very simple way of doing the uh, the stone itself with the artifact key. Um, yeah, well, so it's, uh, I can't even remember who I was um, reading up how to do it with. But once I've worked that out, it's just, it is trivial. You just skip everything. You can still get caught. Uh, if the uh, stone itself, sorry, if um, armies of the dam spawn in the entrance, they can block you. Because even as they're transitioning um, into the ground or coming out of the ground, they actually block you. And yes, archers can shoot you, which uh, knocks you out of the sky. So there's some challenges if the army spawn in the entrance. But uh, if you can avoid that, then yeah, it's all good. You just glide over. Uh, now, I guess in theory, we should be able to just sail south here and it will take us into the northern sea and then south again will get us to central, I guess. I guess that's how it works. Um, can we actually get to the west sea? That's the question. So if we get to the West Sea, then we can get to South America. At least the wind will be uh, perfect for this direction. Yeah, at the time. Yeah. What's the opinion? Um, this, like, um, uh, there's no OS, and I'm going to do it again. Right. It's strong, obviously. Strong, yeah. Yeah. I've got this picture here. At the cross, the south, A11 to the B11 to the West Sea. Okay, well, that's what we're doing. Um, did we lose our island? Uh, E6? No, we still have that one. That instead of... Is it as as well? Okay. Um, the I think the... Yeah, I think probably the yeah. Just what you did. So I'm going to run into that iceberg. That would uh, be an extremely yeah, extreme end to the stream. Just run dead into a uh, iceberg and sink. That's central, southern. No, we want that one. But yeah, we've still got our island on E6. Still a thing. But yes plan now get this back into uh, South America and park up for the evening and uh, I'll have to work out a good time to actually do the Kraken hopefully I'll be able to stream it definitely record it I still haven't actually found the um, Pegasus. Something I've still been looking for, albeit that uh, I wasn't going to pause the trip to try and do any sunken treasures. But yeah, still trying to find a Pegasus. No luck. Yeah, well that's the plan. There was at least four people that put their hand up and said that they'd like to have a go. And so now it's just a matter of finding the right time that we all can be on at the same time and you know I can always plan for it to be at any time myself and just make sure I set aside the time
<laughs> Straight into the ships of the damned. That's what you want. Uh, I've lost my sextant buff, so I can't see my direction. Thanks for that, you silly ship. Uh, how am I liking Rust? Uh, yeah, I'm actually enjoying Rust a fair bit, albeit that I'm only playing on the uh, modded and PvE servers. I've yet to really get into the PvP. I'm just learning how to just deal with the monuments, the gunplay, all the rest of it. Really got into the farming mechanic of the game. Yeah, fair enough. I, I do need to get more into the uh, how the power works. They've obviously got a very good complicated system. Well, I should say complicated. They've got a fairly realistic system, given that um, a lot of the electrical components, you basically have the AND and the NANDs and the XORs, and you know it's got all the proper electrical relay stuff that you can actually work with. It's, um, it's pretty good. I've seen some rather original trap bases which use a lot of the electrical components, which look quite fun to play around with. I was actually playing a little bit at the start of the stream. I was on one of the modded servers and I'd lost my uh, skin that you get from killing one of the bosses. Um, something happened overnight and my character lost its stuff. And so I, uh, at the start of this stream I was actually killing the boss guy. He was, uh, they just updated it so the, cre the, the guy was actually hitting me really bloody hard with his M2. But at the same time... Um, he has 8,000 hit points, so it was taking me forever to bloody take him down. I had hoped to try and do it before the stream, but it ended up cutting a little bit into the stream time. And yeah, as for growing, I do actually need to do uh, set up a farm at some point. I did it briefly on one of the PvE servers, but uh, yeah, needed a bit more time to spend on it to uh, work out all the fertilizer and all that sort of stuff. And then as you say, you got, um, they've got those water systems where you can actually automatically water everything. And this looks pretty funky. Uh, and Bellwick says I should use a pirate with an accordion buff. Yeah, I've never bothered. Um, some of the other guys when they were using their ships had that. They certainly used it a lot when we were doing treasures. And get the buff to get a little bit of extra treasure. Uh, the water recycling, taking the salt, not turning it into regular water. Oh yeah. Yeah, I've seen um, I've seen the item, but I haven't actually used that one. Mind you, I've actually seen other people using it, and they have big long lines of uh, cables left, right, and centre, and then this huge pipeline going down to the water, just so that they can actually get the uh, fresh water back to their base. Have a look at that little quick image. 
Uh, west, so we want to go... We're coming in from the north from the West Sea and then we're going to go south to get to South America. And if we're lucky, it'll put us in C6 or D6. I guess we'll find out. Uh, is the server you guys are playing on in Discord? Uh, are we talking the Atlas server that we're playing on? As in like the radioactive stuff, or are you talking the Rust servers that I play on? Because it's just me. <clears throat> oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's just me. I'm learning the game by just mucking around on modded servers. Uh, I'll put a couple of videos up on them. One of them was that Dirty Unicorn uh, server, which is extremely heavily modified. They've added a huge amount of NPCs into the game, including bosses and stuff like that. Alright, on to the Uncharted. Uh, the other modded server, it's, it hasn't got too many things in it. Like, they do events where um, it's actually a straight PvP server that is the other one that I'm on. Um, I can't even remember what the people on who run that one, but it's a times three server. But they've changed all the loot so that uh, when you break open barrels and boxes and stuff, there's a quite a high chance you'll actually get really like you get more stuff. And I've even had chance to get rockets and things like that. Because the idea is that you should be able to get into the combat very very quickly. Why is there a trade wind over there? Is there a trade wind in here? Seems odd. Let's go and have a look. It doesn't look good. Now that's going east west. Alright. Keep going south. And if I open up Steam, should be in my favourite list. Servers. There's the Rust Easy, which is the pure PvE. So it's like a times one, or it's, it's pure vanilla game, but they've removed the PvP from it. So that's actually really good for practicing monuments, uh, as they are intended to be. The Dirty Unicorn, which is a times five with bosses. I can't see the other one. Thought I had it saved as a favourite. Alright, someone flying past. Interesting looking uh, sail pattern. So the other one was... Oh yeah, Rusty. Yeah, looks like it's good. And the hands even join at the top of the heart. Gosh, getting interesting lag spikes at the moment. Right, close that. Get the chat back up. the wind is slowing down just ever so slightly still pretty good at 15 knots it's still faster than the uh, the existing legacy ships midnight. It'd be good timing to uh, finish up when we get back to base.
Uh, looking for server, I used to play on, that was PvE for a month. And then for the last week it was PvP. Oh yes, I have actually seen some of those. Uh, I doubt that it would be an Australian specific one. Um, oh gosh, which one was that? I'll have to look it up again. Hey. Obviously I can't open it here. But um, yeah, I'll have to see if I can find the, the one that I saw that was like that. Obviously I'll be looking at Australian ones, but um, some of the server providers have an Australian server and then multiple US and EU servers as well. Paint one rowing module a different colour to all the rest of them. He did. It's the first time I actually noticed that. <laughs> he was painting it on the fly last stream. <clears throat> you think it was Zombie Land PVE? Um, yeah. I've played on two different servers which had zombies. One which was very, very simplistic zombies, um, which was PvE, but they didn't have anything about PvP at the end of the month. And the other one, I feel like the zombies were actually better coded. I can't remember which one that one was. There's a lot of creative stuff out there. I mean, I started having a look at the plugin list in the, there's a lot of stuff that people have made for Rust out there. As long as we don't get hit by that thing, we'll be all good. Yeah, the, the one that I'm, oh, I was going to do it, uh, a video of it at some point. Um, what they actually did with the, oh, here we go again. That's an even bit harder one. Let's just get away from that. Uh, they made it so that if you kill Bradley at um, launch site, uh, once you kill Bradley, a transport helicopter turns up with five NPCs and a boss guy which has got like 8,000 health and so after you kill Bradley you then have to fight off the uh, the enemy wave as such. And the other one that they did is um, you can spend scrap to buy a raid so you basically with the the times five you build yourself a little raid base then call an NPC raid and they come armed with rockets and grenades and you then got to try and fight them off before they level your base, which is a bit of fun. And they made three different levels of difficulties. A uh, turret room that was heat sensitive, so that when you walk it would open up the garage doors based on your location and activate the turret. Okay. I've seen one where it was a, a hidden pressure plate that opened the door, and that was a fun one to watch. D6. Oh, that's a beautiful location to come into. 
given that we're in E6. Oh, cyclones. <laughs> of course. And they get the air again. Nothing good. Oh. I haven't actually tried the air balloon yet, what's it? So um, I've seen it plenty of times, just never bothered. Good idea. Turn this out. Oh. Thought the game was going to crash then for a sec. Should have, but you know, I'll survive. <laughs> I feel like they don't do as much damage as what they did a couple of years back. They do more damage to the ship than they do to you. Razor Rum joined. I think that's uh, someone that's on the PVE Discord. From memory? Comings and goings. Oh yeah, people joined up. Nice. Oh, Bewick. Straight through the middle. That's right, we won't actually need the broadsider again, at least not this season. We'll be taking the galleon out next. Yeah, well, lag spike with a bit of a mono there. Um, what happens if you stay in the transfer grid for too long?
I remember the uh, patch notes for the transfer grid was that it was risk versus reward. Ah. Right. One hour. That's not long. Was it a good brig or was it a standard one? So I thought um, the higher the quality and durability uh, increase the amount of time you could be in a fast decay area. Masterwork, yeah. Still an hour, that's ridiculously fast. Oh, that's a real shame. Very unfortunate. Worth knowing, though. Don't go AFK in the uh, in their grid. Nearly there. the edge there. Yeah, I suppose I am. It's interesting, like the game's actually quite choppy at the moment. I keep thinking that maybe I'm getting dropped frames. Watching OBS, I'm not actually getting dropped frames, which means that that's the server that's basically causing the choppiness. It was crazy. Because, yeah, there's no missed frames or skipped frames due to rendering or encoding, so it's uh, that is actually what's happening. Well, as far as um, masterwork brigs going, I'd have to tee up a time that's probably not tonight, but uh, we do have a bloody good shipyard back at base. To see if we've actually still got the other ones too. Because we've got the, um, well, you were saying it's already a 200% brig that was masterwork. I can't remember what ours ended up being. We've got the uh, the mythical shipyard. I'm pretty sure we got two extra crafts that were made of the um, of the blueprints. So we should have two spare mythic large, and I think 200% is pretty close to what I've got. Sophie, welcome to the uh, stream. Albeit that. Once I get to the island over yonder, the, it is the end of the stream. We just finished doing the last power stone tonight. So I now have all nine stones. Have to start doing prep. Prep work for the Kraken.
No worries, Barry. As it is, you know, we've probably only got five minutes left. Thanks for dropping in a second time tonight. Well, this morning for yourself, I guess. Oh, Heatwave coming in, is it? 37. Actually, I'm wearing uh, fur, that's why. Let's get that off. So yeah, if you've got a 200% large shipyard, is that, um, was that a masterwork shipyard? Because 200% is pretty high for that. Obviously it would have been a uh, very good on the scale of masterworks. Mythic Shipyard, yeah. Nice, very nice. Yeah, we got ours which was just on the cusp, it was like a blueprint of 197 and then crafting skill pushed it up over 200. Yeah, we get the lag of all the ships and the base loading in. Not that we actually have that many ships left. The, uh, the inactivity has um, Taken a few ships away from us. Yes, I'll actually have to jump on and move all the ships again actually. Make sure that they don't decay. You basically get somewhere between 10 and 12 days of not moving a ship and it will just disappear. It'll dump all the crew in the water and the ship will just be gone. Alright, catch you later, Billick. I guess someone should make a mod for the game which uh, puts a beeper for when you're reversing the ship. Although it actually needs, um, you can actually put a bell on the ship as an actual item. And ding it as you're uh, doing things like a musical instrument. Uh, not that I'm aware of. I was actually uh, thinking that that would be a nice thing for the game to actually include. Because it's, um, it's an actual navigation thing where um, if you've ever... Because I live in Newcastle in Australia where we're on a coal terminal. And so the ships as they're coming in and out, the number of uh, blasts of their horns and stuff determines which direction they're actually going. And the most commonly known one is um, three blasts of a horn means that a ship is reversing. And you have to be careful of that. I think it's one is port and two is starboard. Or something along those lines. It's been a while since I looked into all that kind of stuff. Let's 
seeds. All good. Check the food. Still got a thousand potatoes in there, which is good. And uh, yeah, still got a hundred thousand gold in there. Trough is good. That one's somewhat good. You got plenty. And you've got a bit. Creatures are all fed for the night as well. Won't need to worry about that. Cool, that sounds great. Which means uh, we've got another 10 days or so. There's so many resources. Oh, there's a good amount of berries in there too. That's actually good to know. Heaps of eggs. 147 fertilized eggs. Hmm. But if uh, Dexter's, if you're following the stream right now, welcome along. Otherwise, it could be somebody who's actually uh, watching another video that just happens to subscribe. So apparently, that's how YouTube subscriptions work. If you're streaming, it'll just tell you if anybody subscribes, whether they're watching your stream or not. All right. Well, I'm definitely going to uh, call it there quarter past 12. Thanks everybody for watching the stream. It's been another good one. Definitely very happy with the progress. And the... Oh, you are here. Fantastic. Well, thanks for subscribing. Excellent. It's, uh, the last time someone subscribed, they actually subscribed to a different video and they weren't actually watching. So it's nice to see someone subscribe while watching. Fantastic. But yes, I have to plan for the Kraken fight. But it probably won't be the regular stream here on the Monday night for me. Um, I assume it's probably going to be a daytime stream. And yes. Alright. Once again, thanks everybody. And uh, yeah. Catch you next time.